The FAU Bonfire, typically a no harm tradition in its 12th year. This I've year, liked not to so play much. With fire. Bulletin board material? I think so. On Saturday, it'll be UCF having the fireside chat. Load up the buses. It's time to take the show on the road. With only 191 miles between the city beautiful and football in paradise, it's no wonder FAU is expecting the largest attendance in school history. And following a 45-21 to 21 defeat in the horseshoe last week, the Owls were eager to prove they aren't smoke and mirrors. No love in the polls and just a 10-point favorite. The Knights felt they had a little proving to do of their own. Week 2 brought out a new opportunity for true freshman Dylan Gabriel, who found his name next to QB1 on the depth chart. When I'm ready and my name's called, that's, I'm, I'm going to be there. And game two of the 2019 football season between UCF and FAU is underway. Business as usual. Within five minutes of the first whistle, the Owls were feeling a little deja vu. He gets across the 30. He's on the 35 40. He's at the 45. And Greg McCray picks up 20 on first down. Got Dylan Gabriel. And a handoff to Cray inside 5 3 2 1 touchdown. Greg McCray. And an opening drive score for UCF. They go 75 yards. Good job, man. Good job, Back to throw. Dylan looking. Dylan looking. Throws downfield. Harris is there. Jacob has got it. 20 15 dive. Touchdown, UCF. Jacob Harris. First in the black and gold, and something Night Nation can expect to see more of in the future. A night dominated by the UCF trenches. Over 300 yards rushing and a touchdown by four backs. It's safe to say the O line imposed their will on the Owl front seven. One touchdown, Adrian Killen. Would not be denied. He scores one of the yards out. The number one tackle for loss defense in the nation. UCF Fierce built a nest for themselves in the Owl backfield, recording 16 TFLs. And handoff, and Randy Charlton comes up, makes the hit on the cannon at the 45 yard line. Showcasing his ball hawking ability, transfer Tay Gowan pulled in his first INT of the young season. Bethune trying to track him down, his pass is going to be is an intercepted with the inbound. Yes, yes. Tay yes. Gowan picks it off right in front of the night's sideline. His first start tonight. And Gowan, the junior of the Covington, Georgia, gets the interception, our first turnover of the season. Called early due to lightning, the Knights had much to be proud of. Great win with the boys out here tonight. Great win. Time to get back to the O and T up, you did. Yes, sir. Seriously, right? Defensive line, over job, all right? Game ball to the defensive line. All night long on the quarterback, all right? Okay, yeah. offensive line, 300 yards rushing. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, 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 real quick, we're living, hey, we're living on the right side of the turnover battle. We got to create more. We got to continue to secure it. And take out with the P.I. Yeah. 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 Now, what we'll do too much talking. Hey. 
They also understood there is room to grow. It's always good to be uh, number one in the nation for tackle loss for a game, but hopefully we can just uh, carry that over to Stanford game and uh, keep excelling every week and keep pushing the pocket, you know what I'm saying? I think we've done a really good job over the past two games. I think this game we did a lot better than we did in the first game, and I think it needs to continue. Next week, the Cardinal come to town and look to upset the black and gold in the bounce house. Like, like Mason said, we treat everybody the same no matter who it is. Uh, we're going to treat them like how we treated Auburn, how we treated LSU, how we treated FAMU, how we treated FAU. We're going to treat them all the same. Um, we're not going to look at size. It's not something we look at. We just play as hard as we can and control what we can control.